An airliner carries 250 passengers and has doors with a height of 75 inches. Heights of men are normally distributed with a mean of 69.0 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches. Complete parts A through D. First question says if a male passenger is randomly selected, find the probability that he can fit through the doorway without bending. So the requested probability is for a single individual from a normally distributed population which can be calculated by using a normal distribution with the given parameters. So let's first draw the picture. Okay, so here is our bell curve. And we know that the mean is given to be 69.0 inches. Okay, and so it's asking us if whether or not a male passenger is randomly selected to find the probability that he can fit through the doorway without bending. So the probability that he can fit through the door without bending would be that they would, the, the man would have to be less than the height of 75 inches. So we need to find out, okay, well, on our graph here, we can see that X is going to equal 75 inches. And then we want to find the probability of everything that is less than 75, because then that would represent the probability that they can fit without bending. So that's the probability that we're looking for. Okay, and then we're also given that the standard deviation is 2.8 inches. Okay, so we want to be able to find the z-score. So we know that the value of x is equal to 75 inches. We know that the mean is equal to 69.0. And we know that the standard deviation is 2.8. Okay, so that's what we're going to do is to find that z-score. So z is going to equal x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So if we take 75, subtract 69, and then divide that by 2.8, let's see what we get for our z-score. So we take 75, subtract 69, and then we're going to divide that by 2.8. And then rounding that to two decimal places gives us 2.14. So now we can write our z-axis. So with our z-axis, we know that the mean now for the standard normal distribution is 0. And then the z-score for 75 inches is now 2.14. And so what we want to do is now find the probability of when that z-score is less than or equal to 2.14. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use StatCrunch here. So down here, we're going to open up StatCrunch. And then we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and scroll down to Normal. OK, and then we want to make sure we have a mean of 0, a standard deviation of 1. And we're pointing the inequality to the left. And then we're going to put our z-score of 2.14. And then we're going to see that the probability run it to four decimal places is 0 0.9838 so 0 0.9838 let's go ahead and put that in there so we get 0 0.9838 and there is our answer now it says if half of the 250 passengers are men find the probability that the mean height of the 125 men is less than 75 inches. So according to the central limit theorem, we want to use the central limit theorem because now we have a value of n which is equal to 125. So let's go ahead and draw our picture. Okay, so what do we know that the mean is? We know that the mean is, again, 69 inches. 
Okay, and then we also know that the standard deviation is 2.8. Okay, and we want to make sure it's going to be less than 75 inches. So here we have x, which is equal to 75. And again, we want to make sure that we're finding the probability where it's less than that. Okay, so now we want to use the given information and that given information to find the z-score is the following. Now again, we know that this represents the mean of the sample means. So let me go ahead and change that here. So the mean of the sample means 69.0. So we know that our data value x is 75. We know the mean of the sample mean is equal to 69. We know n is equal to half of 250, which they tell us is 125. And then we know that the, mean, the standard deviation of the sample means is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that means it's going to be 2.8 divided by the square root of 125. Okay, so let's go ahead and find our z-score for that. So z is going to equal the data value x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. We know that x is 75. We're going to subtract 69. And then we're going to divide that by 2.8 over the square root of 125. And then that's going to give us our z-score. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 75 minus 69, and then divide that by 2.8, divided by the second square root of 125. And then rounding that to two decimal places gives us 23.96. Okay. All right. And so therefore, on our z-axis, we know that the mean is 0 and the z-score is 23.96. And so we want to find the probability of when the z-score is less than or equal to 23.96. So let's go ahead and use StatCrunch here. So we know that the mean again is 0 and 1. We want to say less than or equal to 23.96. And that gives us a probability of 1.0000. So let's go ahead and put that in here. 1.0000. And that gives us that probability. Now it says, when considering the comfort and safety of passengers, which result is more relevant? The probability from part A or the probability from part B and then Y? Okay, well, the probability from part A shows the proportion of all men that will not have to bend. The probability from part B shows the proportion of samples of, in this case, 150 men sorry, not 150, 125 men that will have a mean height less than the door height. It is better to make sure that a large proportion of men will not have to bend than to make sure that on a large proportion of flights, the mean height of the male passengers will be less than a door height. Even if on a given flight, the male passengers are not generally so tall as to require bending, there may still be an unacceptably large portion of men on the flight that do have to bend. So we would say that the probability from part A is more relevant because it shows the proportion of male passengers that will not need to bend. Okay, now the second the part D says when considering the comfort and safety of passengers, why are women ignored in this case? Okay, well first consider the difference in height in general between men and women 
and then decide whether this difference constitutes adequate grounds for ignoring women. So, since men are generally taller than women, a design that accommodates a suitable proportion of men will necessarily accommodate a greater proportion of women, so our answer is going to be A.